Hey guys, Jaybird here, and today we're going to be doing another tutorial, and this one's going to be another introduction tutorial, so we're not going to be doing too much in it, but what we're going to be going over is APE, also known as Asset Property Editor. So this is one of the tools that Treyarch provided us with the mod tools. So the very first thing that we're going to go over is how do we launch it. So we'll do that really quickly, it takes two seconds, and then when we're in there, I'm going to go over just kind of the windows in there, I'm going to go over the format and the layout, and what you're going to be looking at. And the last thing that I'm going to do is how to set up a GDT so you can start creating your own assets. All right, guys, let's jump in it. All right, guys, so I'm here in Launcher. So just to open up APE, it is super simple, really easy. Look for the monkey at the top here and just click on it. There we go. We're in APE. So this is the Asset Property Editor. Um, so basically, we have a few different windows here. Uh, at the top, you kind of have your typical uh, your drop-down menu menus and whatnot, and they're repeated here. Um, this section here, this window, is the preview window, which is similar to the camera view in actual Radiant. The controls are actually different, though. So if you want to move around in the camera view here, say I had a model selected, what I can do is hold Alt and left-click drag to be able to rotate the camera. So if I want to go in and out, I still hold Alt, but I right click drag and that will zoom in and out of the camera. But uh, if I wanted to change the, the skybox in the background or rotate it around, I can hold Shift and left click and you can drag up and down. So up and down will kind of do where the sun is positioned in the sky and left and right will rotate the skybox so the sun will move around the model. This also works for right click as well. So you can left click or right click to get it to rotate around there. So there we go. That's how you move around an asset property editor. You can actually middle alt middle mouse to move around as well. So that's basically the controls and setup for this. If you come to the top, you can change your render method here. So I could set it up so it's wireframe, which is kind of pointless in my opinion. No lighting, which is basically the same sort of view that you would see in Radiant with your lights turned off then you can go into the actual skybox to give you a couple of presets. So here's morning, which is kind of a desert. Uh, we have day, which is more of a jungle. And then sunset, which is like a mountaintop. And then the final one is night, which is the one that I like to use because a lot of zombie based maps are uh, based at the nighttime. So uh, the last few things you can kind of ignore for now, they're kind of extra things to check for uh, basically PBR textures and whatnot, so like actual realistic textures. You can take a screenshot, uh, pin the asset, which I'm actually not too sure what that does yet. Um, and then we have just a few more uh, basic uh, settings here. Like one of the ones here is load. If your model has multiple loads, you can check out the different LODs on them. Currently my Vigor Rush model here only has one. So we'll go over what an LOD is later when we get into actual models. And this is for if we're playing animations and effects and stuff like that. So the next window here is going to be our asset window, which is actually just a list of all the GDTs that you have. So this will expand and uh, like minimize all the GDTs. So if you minimize them all, you can kind of just go through and find a GDT that you want to work with. So a GDT is basically a file that asset property editor uses to kind of organize the assets. So I might have one specifically for my Vigor Rush perk or perks in general that I've created. So if I go up and find my perks uh, GDT, if I can get there quick enough. Actually, it'd probably be down at the bottom of P7. Uh, so many stuff here, okay. So perk machines, so I have a GDT called perk machines. If I double click on that, I have a list of images and then materials and then perk machines. So these are the actual models. So I can click on a model and it'll appear in the 2D view there or the, the camera view. So that's basically how uh, the models work in this is you can actually just select one and it'll just pop up in here. So then you can basically create your own GDTs in here as well. So we'll go over that in a second once we're done with the windows here. Uh, but say we wanted to find something specific like in a specific GDT but you don't know what the name of it was but you might know the name of the model, then you can search in your filters down here. So you can select the name one, and I might be looking for, let's say, my M1911 model. 
So it's going to pop up with all GDTs that refer M1911. So I can go in there and see, okay, there it is. And then you can get rid of the checkbox or just remove the name there. And then the types are the different types of assets that you have. So you can select uh, different types of assets. So if I wanted to search for only models, I can select X model and then all the GDTs with X models will pop up. So you can kind of add a few different things in there. You can search for specific GDTs as well, values, and then just extra filter settings there. Everything on the right here is relevant to whatever you have selected. So this whole right side of the window here is uh, basically what, what asset type you have selected. So let's go back to my Vigor Rush model and let's say I selected a material. So once that loads up, you can see all of this. It tells you what the material is. It goes through all the material settings. So they're all specific to the type of asset. So this might be different if say you selected a, an X model. So now it's X model settings. So it's relevant to what you've set it up for. All right, so now the very last thing that I'm gonna go over is basically setting up your own GDT so you can create your own assets. We'll be going over how to create textures and materials and also X models in the future. So for now, we'll just go up, uh, go over how to set that up. So at the top here, you can click File, New Asset, New GDT, and all that. You can also right click in here to do that, but let's just do it from the top for now. So we'll go New GDT, and for now, what it's gonna do, all your GDTs are gonna be located in Black Ops 3's root folder under Source Data. So this is where all the GDTs are located. So for now, why don't we just call this test.gdt. So it's automatically created a test uh, GDT here, although I've already had one before. So we can probably just get rid of that. But when I open, oh, they have a test.gdt. Never mind, that's theirs. Okay, we'll have to rename this something else then. For now, why don't we do a, a basically a new type of GDT. So we'll go test tutorial.gdt. Okay, so there we go. So now I have nothing under this GDT, but if I wanted to create an asset for this GDT, I would right click on the GDT and I can create a new asset, a new material. I can save it. I can show it in Explorer. So if I do that, it'll bring up the window opened up on my other monitor. So it'll actually bring you right to the GDT and revert changes. So if you've done anything since the last time you saved, it will revert that. So there we go, guys. That's going to be it for this tutorial. Next time we'll be going over creating textures, materials, and X models. All right, guys, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.